Also developing tonight, we're learning more about one of the people killed in a crash involving a Kansas City, Missouri fire truck and an SUV. A brother tells us that Michael Elwood was a passenger in the SUV. The wreck happened Wednesday night on Broadway Boulevard near Westport Road. After the fire truck and SUV collided, police say it caused a partial building collapse. KSHB 41 News reporter Cameron Taylor is live near the location of where the crash happened. And Cameron, you spoke with one of the victim's brothers. What did he tell you? Yeah, I did. And I'm going to step out of the way so you can see some of these words spray painted on that piece of plywood. One is Elwood, and that piece of plywood is covering the building where that deadly crash happened. And Elwood is the last name of one of the victims, Michael Elwood. Now, his brother tells me tonight Michael was the passenger in the SUV involved in that crash. The family of 25-year-old Michael Elwood says he was kind and loving. One of his oldest brothers, Nathan, wrote in an email to KSHB 41 News, his smile and happy energy could lift the spirits of anyone in his path. <laughs> Wednesday night, Kansas City, Missouri police say three people died after a fire truck and SUV collided. Police say the force of the crash sent the fire truck and SUV into a brick building on Broadway Boulevard near Westport Road. Elwood was a passenger in the SUV. On Friday, his family created a GoFundMe page asking for help with funeral expenses. Since then, donations have been pouring in to support them. The page says Michael was a loving son, brother, and a friend who brought joy, laughter, and friendship to the hearts of so many people who knew and loved him. We are deeply saddened by his passing, and we will miss him forever. Now, the family says any money that's not used for funeral expenses will go to a charity, and that charity will benefit youth and the arts in Michael's honor. Now, as for the investigation, KCPD says they expect to formally release the names of the victims on Monday. We're live in Westport, Cameron Taylor, KSHB 41 News.